Well, I'm finally getting around to uh, trying to dare blue this um, BB gun that I got from Ron over at Wally's place, 66. Uh, you have to have readable weather. It's been pretty chilly, so I haven't been messing with it. Finally, it's up to 50 something degrees. I'm going to try it anyway. It should be warmer. But first off, I'm going to clean this a little bit because the main thing you can't have any oil, hand oil, or any kind of oil on this. You expect it to work. So we'll use this carburetor cleaner. Make sure it dries off good before we put the uh, paint on. There's that. Now we gotta, gotta see if I got enough of, the, of this stuff here. They sent me some more of this uh, hardener because uh, the hardener dries out in a hurry once you open it. So let me uh, move this down here a little bit before we see what we're doing, if I can. Right down about here it ought to be good. Now, <clears throat> yeah. to mix this stuff, uh, 12 to 1, 12 parts of this, to one part of the uh, partner. This is, a, this is actually Dura Blue, it's not Dura Coat. This actually is, uh, what do you call it, polished blue black. It's a color. I have others here. Uh, well, this is just the uh, center. And this is the Parker Eyes. Uh, it's about all gone. And then we have our regular black over here H and K black, which I've got quite a bit of that left. Anyway, uh, what I've got to do is measure this. Uh, in this little thing here. So what we need is we need a, in other words, this is a, uh, let me get this out here. What we got here is a, a half a spoon, two spoon, and a one tablespoon. So theoretically that should give us our uh, 12 to one mix here. Well, they got this a more user-friendly uh, deal now. You can get this in a can, spray can. You pop the bottom and it breaks loose your um, hardener and you put it in like that. Oochie dokie. But there's that. If I don't spill it, I shall be very lucky if I don't. There's that. See how much more we got. Well, I hope that'll fit in here. So that is almost two. So now we'll get this little dude and we'll use almost two of that. Lid on it. Lid back on there. There we go. What is it? Almost. Wait a minute, that's got to. Wait a minute, that's not going to work. Not going to work well at all. It's got a big bubble in there. Maybe this will work. Pick it out. Let's see if I can get that thing out of that. They got a lot of space there. May just have to sell one. There. We've got a you know, that stuff didn't come out last time, so There we go. Mighty fine, mighty fine. Now, let's take 
one of these. Another pack, I'm going to put two of them in there. thoroughly because I want to make sure that gets a good uh, skull on that. It's all right because we got to make sure that our parts up there are dry. This is probably too much, but it's all right. The problem with buying this stuff from US, Midway USA, thanks for that in my case because I go up to the VA in Columbia once in a while. Anyway, so you can just uh, order it, pick it up there. But if you got to pay for it, they call it hazmat. So it's like 25 bucks on top of what it costs you to get it here. See, so let me see what we got here. Are we dry? Nice and cold. No, it's not dry. So we're going to have to wait until that dries. I should have brought a clean rag out and wipe it down. But I don't have one, so I guess I'll go get one. I'll be back in two shakes of lamb potato. Well, we'll kind of wipe this down a little bit. Probably should be a lint-free lint rag, but if I don't have it, I'll use one of these. There we go. I shouldn't have put my fingers on it. Well, if we do the weather me or something like that, we might really be more particular, but this is going to look fine for what it is. Okay, now we got a little moisture in there. Because I could get the heat gun out and uh, heat that up, but it would probably blow a lot of, a lot of uh, dirt. There. Let that dry for a little bit. Alrighty, folks. Okay, okay. Now. I don't know what point the right place or not. I just hope that my face there over. This one here. Come on, come on, come on. What is wrong with you? There we go. Now then. Okie dokie. Seems like it's working pretty good. Uh, smells strong. Well, I've got the old trusty heat gun out here. Try not to get too much dirt on it. But I do like for it to be dry. 
This is an ancient son of a gun. When the plant closed down where I worked at the shrimp shop, they wasn't going to move this old thing. I thought, I'll just take it home and it go ahead. So I did. What's the long of course? I say that. dry it a little bit and then we'll uh, come back to it here. Well the lighting in this shop is not too good obviously so we'll see if we can figure oh, there's a spot there that needs a little attention. Oh, well, there's a spot right there on top like right there and over here. All right all right. 
I don't know, these here, this goes inside the, the barrel anyway, so I really don't have to, well, there's a pot right there to stand a little, right, right there. Here, we'll go ahead and hit that a little bit more. What we got on this one? Looks like I got a little bit of a run there in one spot. Oh, well. I think we're good. There's a touch there. Okay. Okay. I don't really like putting too much on there because it does have a tendency to run. But, let's see what we can do here with this. Well, you can't see it anyway, but. See where we are here. Not bad. Good enough. I think that's going to be good enough. Uh, uh, I think I want it to look really good if I can, you know. I mean, some people just take a can of black spray paint and, and it'd probably look okay. But this is a different process. I like using it. It's uh, It'll take a while. I can't be messing with that now for a few days. It needs to hang there. Because of uh, this is one kind of thing that has to cure. It's not just like regular paint. Alright. Now, got a, I think I've got enough. I think I need to save. It might not work. I believe we got enough on it. So now, what we got to do now is. I wonder how much more this I got. Uh, quite a bit. Too bad I don't have something else to paint. So that stuff won't last very long mixed up like that. But that's the way it goes, I guess. Nothing really else I want to do. So, uh, so I guess I'll just pour it out. So I might waste stuff, but. Well, where's that? There's that. Ain't much of that left. 
remember with it. Make some kind of concoction. Come on in there, you. Thank you.